morning guys and welcome to the worst day <laughs> it's cold I got my hoodie on like my super warm one that Sam bought me for Christmas it's cold it's wet it's awful and we still have to do chores <laughs> still have to do chores so goat chores are done horse chores are done we had to amend them for today I'll tell you guys why oh So Sophie and I are still trying to figure out, Sophie is, Sophie is so, so sick still. Like I feel really bad for her, but I need help. Like today, the goats have gotten to be so overwhelming, you would not even believe it. Like it is shocking how much work the goats are. And I'll explain when I get down to the goat barn, but here in the chicken coop, Sophie and I are still trying to figure out who we're keeping and who we're getting rid of. I have people coming today to pick some roosters and then I have two other people coming soon to pick roosters we've decided we're keeping two roosters even if we had to keep three we would keep three huh <sighs> but we're just sitting out here in the chicken coop waiting for them to show up so that they can pick and they're actually friends so I'm gonna take them down and show them the baby goats I have so many people who want to come see our baby goats so my son and is gonna come tomorrow and see the baby goats and then my sister's gonna come I'm gonna tell her she should come tomorrow and make it like a full day the fact that it's raining <laughs> is really putting a damper on my plans for this weekend but that's okay i have so many things planned for this year this summer like i we're gonna have to cut some of them off our list because oh let's see if i can remember them all okay so i want to do a huge garden huge garden that's going to take up time roses. so if he's going to plant roses this year so she's going to do her own little rose bed so we want to learn the whole goat showing process i found a mentor who's gonna let us go to the show with her and because she shows and we're gonna buy our doughs from her and she's gonna take us through the whole showing process which is like a godsend she is amazing she's so strict she wants everything done a certain way and i love that about her she reminds me a little bit of fiona who is like the best at taking care of animals and gave us such a good foundation so hopefully this lady will be the same give us such a good foundation um we want to so then we have to do all the stuff to teach our goats to to show we are buying at least two does this year we're buying at least two does this year um two different breeders excited about that two registered does um so we have that so if he wants to show 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 what do you want to show like so do you want to ride you want to jump jumping show huh? and then showmanship stuff with storm yeah and the you storm want, is good at showmanship stuff do you want to do any stuff with your minis uh, I want to do like a hand jumping show for them. Yeah, I don't know if they have in hand jumping shows. Well, they do, but I don't know where. Well, we'll find it. I want to do some stuff with Penny this year. I want to do, like, I don't have to show, but I want to go to a uh, class with her. So I'm like arranging that with a trainer and I'm going to go and do that. I just, I want one day, just one day this summer that I can go and do this with my, ho with my horse. So we definitely want to do the fair again this year. That was super fun. The Western stuff or... What was last? Yeah, Sophie says she did too much with Storm in that one show last year, but we'll go to more fairs. Yeah. I want to go. Storm was getting cranky by the end of it. I would, like, my legs would just be on him, not even doing anything, and he would put yeah. his ears. He was yeah, like, he was getting yeah. cranky by the end, but a lot of that I think had to do with the environment. It was just so super noisy. I want to go trail riding with our friends in the Ganaraska Forest. It's my dream. My dream. Like, sitting out there with the goats was my dream as well <laughs> a lot of dreams you guys i want to go riding in the ganaraska forest i would love to go camping with our horses this year i just don't think it's going to happen i'd have to like find people to take care of all of our animals which is a lot like the goats are a lot the dogs are a lot the horses are literally easy i have to get sophie a horse i don't know how i forgot that one we have to get have to get sophie a horse and get him started and get him going and like and sophie wants to do shows with him keyword him him um what else i have more stuff on my list you guys we have to integrate a pig into our little herd we're adding a bunch of animals to our to our um farm and some of them will be processed for food and we've done that before but still that's going to be like a whole lot of work like you can't just bring animals in and add them you have to like make changes plus i want to clean up around stuff around more i want to like we're making a new area for the chickens to be able to free range easier and we're going to make like there's a lot of stuff that we have to do just to just to maintain things the way that we want them to be maintained make things easier for us so like 
it's a lot of stuff that we want to do this summer. Sophie has to sell, we still have to sell chickens and roosters, which is Gab, Sophie's big way of making money in the summer. And soon ducks. And soon ducks, we're gonna have extra ducks. We only want to keep one boy duck that we're hatching, so she'll have five ducks, hopefully. Comment below anything that you think that we've missed that I've talked about doing that I want to do. I really want to go camping with the horses, but I don't think it's on our list for this year because it will just be like a lot, a lot of extra. Daisy, you're being called. All right, so I spent a bunch of time today with my friend, with my friends. They came and we went around the whole farm, you know, when, oh gosh, oh my gosh. We kept the horses in this morning because it was so windy and so rainy. And then we ended up keeping the goats in too because goats don't like rain, but they really don't like wind and rain. Like it's too much to have both of those. I ended up letting the goats out this afternoon and they're out here getting soaked. What are you guys thinking? Like it was such a bad rainstorm that there's water all in their field. What are you thinking? <laughs> Come on, let's go in. Ever since the goats gave birth, it, the rest of the herd has been completely unsettled. Everybody is so upset. Whew, it's cold in here. So I give all the moms this alfalfa pellets because the boys can't have it and neither can pregnant Rosie. Only the moms can have it. It's so good for their weight. But as you can see, nobody really likes it. But I give it to them anyway. I give it to them anyway because when, they're, when their grain is all gone and they're feeling like they want grain, they will kind of nibble on it. So I've been watching Tilly ever since she gave birth because she's really been quiet and really friendly and that is just not like her. And her, her baby sleep in the weirdest spots. But anyways, this little guy right here, Oscar is getting so friendly. Like he literally comes up and sits in your lap. The only one that's not friendly out of her three, I mean, and he's not not friendly, he's just not as friendly as the little black one there. Teddy, he's, he's the one that needs the most getting friendly, but they're okay. They're nice and warm in there. But she doesn't even come like follow me around. She doesn't, she doesn't do anything. She just, She's a really good mom. I was actually shocked. I was so surprised by that because she was the one I was the most worried about. Tilly's babies, on the other hand, are so super cute and they're starting to get a little bit more friendly. My friend's husband was holding one of them today, but they honestly are the least friendly. They're taking forever to make friendly. It takes, it's like a full-time job just to make your goats friendly. I guess that's why people bottle feed babies because it's not that it they can't be made friendly without a bottle. It's just that if you have a lot of goats, it takes so much time to make them friendly. Tilly, on the other hand, is super... <laughs> Whoops. They're stretching out. Tilly, on the other hand, is super cautious with her baby. She doesn't want anybody touching them. She's like very overprotective, or she's very protective, whereas Tilly is not. But look at that udder adorable so the other issue is that i've had to put tilly in here with <laughs> you guys are in the wrong stall you right stall right stall <laughs> i've had to put tilly in here with um with our boy and with lola and they give her a really hard time and she's not the boss in here it's so funny we took away her mom took away her mom and suddenly she is not the leader anymore. She's like at the bottom. So these guys bully her and don't let her eat her grain. So every day I have to sit in here with her and it's horrible because this is the thing that they don't ever tell you about goats. They don't listen. <laughs> like he, this boy will try again and again and again to take her grain. Like even if I'm standing here, what? Can you close the duck and the goose? That's why the barn got cold because I opened that door. Sophie is so sick, you guys. Like, I haven't seen her this sick in a long time. She had, like, throwing up and stuff yesterday. Get. Get. She had throwing up yesterday and, like, her voice sounds awful and her throat is so sore. She's only been eating popsicles. 
poor little Lola. She just settles anywhere. No. No. Let her eat her own grain. She needs more than you because she has a baby in her belly. She has two babies in her belly. I'm going to manifest it. She has one little girl. That's all I want. One little girl. No. No. One baby girl. I'm trying. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like better than it was this morning. This morning I really was like dying in here trying to keep them all separate. But Rosie's I think our prettiest goat and I'm really excited to see what her baby looks like. And the other thing that I'm really proud about. I know what you're saying. He's the prettiest goat. Well, he's a boy though. Listen, Lola, no. Goats and Ellie are the same. Ellie's exactly like this. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Come over here, Lola. Isn't Get. Lola's name suit her? Yeah, Lola's. Oh no. Ah. We're and it's over. Sorry, Rosie. I did my best. <laughs> but she's getting really friendly with me lately. Like, maybe it's good that she separated from her mom. Lola is so happy. Like, this is the first time she's ever let me do this to her. Look at little Teddy's ear. <laughs> He's got a wonky ear. Fix it it'll, fix, it'll fix itself out. It probably happened while he was in the womb. Do you guys see it though? So cute. <laughs> No, he's cute. So anyways, we weighed these guys yesterday and we weighed them today. They're gaining weight. We did give them a little bit of a bottle this morning just to like make sure. None of them are starving. <laughs> None of them are starving, but they're really tiny. They don't look as tiny as they actually are. Hold that one up. And this is little Oscar. This is little Oscar. <laughs> See how much better they're getting at being held? I hate the dangles. Yeah, he's got dangles. See them? <laughs> because his mom and his aunt have them. But he is really cute. And he has a heart on his head. And so does Teddy have a heart on his head. Alright, show them the other one. Oh, look at Winston. And uh, little Theo. <laughs> little Theo looking so cute. Don't they look like so big already? They're not. They're all under, they're all like right around the two pound mark. And they're already two days old. So uh, the gold one is the smallest. And this guy is the second biggest. The black one is the biggest. He's 2.1. Two, pound, two pounds, one ounce. This guy is two pounds right on the dot. So super tiny. But mom has a lot of milk. And they're eating lots. They're drinking lots. They're peeing lots. They're pooping lots. So we know that she's feeding them. And they're doing well. We're watching it though. And they will take a bottle. So we're going to keep doing that every day just to make sure it's that a little warm, you do. it's good for them to be able to take a bottle too. So, But she's feeding them. This is the smallest one, believe it or not. And he's looking good today. Do you guys remember we put that basket in there for Lola so she could stay safe and get away from Rocky? Well, now Rosie. Hey, Rocky and Rosie. Uh, now Rosie goes in there to stay safe. You close the duck and the goose up? It's cold again, you guys. This boy sure missed Sophie yesterday. All he wants is to be in her lap. Like, he's a rough and tumble little boy, and all he wants is, whoa, all he wants is Sophie. Like, he just loves her. And so my, my friend was here. They were saying, like, how can you not keep him? I have keep <laughs> How can you not? Because he's just such a love. <laughs> He just missed her so much. This morning when we came down, she was hugging him, like holding him, and he was just so happy to just be in her lap. And our friends also said that he is such a nice looking goat. They think he's really cute. So I don't know what will happen, but we're not making any plans to get rid of him. Yeah, he's grooming you. We're not making any plans to get rid of him super fast because he really is such a sweet boy. 
the only one of this color that we got. Yep. And we got all different colors except for two chocolates. Yeah, he loves you. All right, let's go because I'm frozen. Don't you know that you're beautiful?